Hello and welcome to another episode of Wannabe Entrepreneur. I want to first start by thanking Louise. She was the most recent supporter of this podcast. Really means a lot. I'm glad that you like it. And I really hope that you also enjoy all the premium content that now you can access. Thank you so much. And you already know, if you also want to start supporting this podcast, the link will be in the description of this episode, so you can just go there and buy me a coffee. And now, let's get back to the episode. As I told you yesterday, today was the day that I was receiving a call from the unemployment agency, and I got it, and I was a bit nervous. I have applied to a bunch of companies in the past already, And I applied to three, actually. I applied to Google and to Spotify. Again, I would be lucky to land one of those jobs for real. But in this case, I am not looking for a job. So I applied to some positions that are actually in my area, but not so much in my area. And I'm not sure if they will even get back to me. But yeah, she asked me about why I only applied to three companies so far and that I should be applying for more companies. And uh, she also asked me about my plans to go back to Portugal. So yeah, she's really on top of me and really, which makes sense as her job. And I think it makes total sense for, for her to help me getting a, a new job. But yeah, that's kind of not what I'm planning right now. So I don't know, I, sometimes I feel bad because I, In one side, I think, okay, if I want to be part of the system, I should be trying to find a job, or if not, at least not not to get the unemployment money. But on the other hand, I also feel that this is why I paid taxes and I should also get some support. And I think that entrepreneurs should also have the support from the government if they want to start something. So it's a bit uh, a knife with two blades. I'm not sure what to think. But I also asked her if it was possible, if there was any kind of support for people starting their own companies. And she told me that there is, but not for software developers. Because it's so easy for us to get a job right now that it doesn't make sense for them to support us to get our own projects. I I don't know what to think of this. I understand both points. But it's really a pity for me because I really want to do my my own thing and... um, And this support that I can get from the government would be really, really great to be able to take my business off the ground. I will just continue. I will start applying for more companies and let's see if they will still give me the money or if they will end up blocking me. I don't know. But she spoke English, so that's really great. Besides that, let's speak a little bit about Change It. It's been a couple of days already since I released the new version of the app with the new design. And it seems that the one of my main metrics is actually increasing. As I told you before, my main metrics are organic growth and product clicks because that's how I make money. And there are more people adding products to the wish list. There are more clicks. It's still not a big difference because I also don't, have any new users but I can see more people more engagement in that area I hope that this will actually be the beginning or something great and that I can now start focusing only in my second main metric which is organic growth and for this I realized that I really have to come up with a great gamification I need to come up with a way that will make people use this app every day and especially to share with their peers I had a couple of ideas, some ideas to create local heroes where the people with the lowest CO2 impact could uh, share their tips with others, some kind of point system depending on how you engage with the app. And uh, I don't know, actually, I want your help. If you have any ideas on how I can introduce gamification to my app, change it, send it to me, I will share a link on the description of this episode where you can just go there and write your comments and write your ideas. And besides that, today I paid 150 euros to get a blog post written by a professional in her sustainability blog. And she wrote it already today. 
and I already paid. The blog is actually quite amazing. I will also link it in the description, the the blog post. Super well written. She really took the time to check the app and there's a lot of insights from the app in the blog post. So I think it's really well written. I really like it. But I don't know if it was worth the money. Now I have to wait because she told me that every new post reaches an average of 4,000 viewers in the first month. But I'm not sure if I believe her because she released it and I, I haven't seen that many new users coming. So maybe it takes some time. I just have to wait. I also told her if in about a month she could share those stats with me so that I could actually see because it's also important for me to calculate the conversion. I need to see how much the views convert to actually downloads and to see if it's worth it to pay to these blog posts because in the end it all depends on how much it costs to get one user. And uh, let's see. Anyways, it's great for SEO because now there is another sustainability blog pointing to change it. So this will definitely bring a lot of organic traffic from Google. I will let you know once I know more metrics. Maybe in about a week I can already see if I'm getting new users from this blog post. Yeah, and that's it. Tomorrow we have another great interview with two bloggers that are making a living with their travel blog. Really, it's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, this was another wannabe entrepreneur. See you tomorrow.